Hello there, this is uh, Tucker from Combo. Uh, happy holidays to everybody that's watching this on December 30th. Uh, today we're excited to introduce a number of updates to Combo um, that you've been asking for to give you more sort of functionality and granularity around how you use Combo to play with your, your audience. So the first thing that you'll notice when you log into Combo today is a new games tab. So the Games tab is an introduction of giving you the ability to set different descriptions, price per game, and availabilities per game. So on my account, I can see all the games that I had set up previously as games that I want to play with my viewers. And if I click on one of them, I can see the title of the game, a little description explaining to my audience you know, what to expect when they do book time with me to play this the number of people that I'll host per session, the price that I charge per session, and then my availability. So this gives you a lot more flexibility around uh, how you play specific games with your audience. And so if I want to say playing Rogue Company, I can say I'm not very good at this game, but I like to play it. I play on PS4 and I'm looking forward to playing with you. I hit save, and that'll update all the information on my public-facing combo profile for that game specifically. Now I can change the my availability for this game in particular too to say that I only actually want to play it with my audience or make it available to my audience to play with me on Mondays between 5 and 9 p.m. So I can just turn all these different days off and hit save there. And that's it. So now I can see that this game in particular has been updated with all those changes that I just made. And if I view my profile, I can see all those changes have been reflected here too. So now we've sort of updated the, the design of the public facing uh, profile page where we sort of have the description, the price per game, and the availability per game at a per game level now, rather than something that is across the board, across your whole profile. And so I can see the changes that I made to Rogue Company here, where it has my new description, my price per game, and if I click through here, I can see that I'm only available on Mondays. Now if I go back to my uh, combo dashboard, I can see that my bio and introduction and everything has maintained sort of its same position in, in my combo dashboard. But if I go back to games and I say, you know, there's another game that I want to offer to uh, my audience um, as something that they can play with me, I just hit add a game. And then it'll take me through this setup and uh, creation process. So let's say that I want to add Alien Isolation as a game. I want to open up the party size per session to uh, three people, including myself. I can include a description here that says, I don't know much about this game, but I just got it on Steam. On Steam, looking forward to playing with you. Hit continue. I set my availability for this game to be, say, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Fridays. Hit continue. And now we're introducing the ability for you to actually offer services and games for free. So if I actually don't want to charge my viewers anything to play this game with me, I just enter zero dollars here and hit finish. So now if I scroll down, I can see that this game has been added. Here's the description that I just included. And I don't want to charge for this game, so I just have it as free. If I go back to my profile here, and go back to the main overview. I can see the game has been added here. It has my description. It's a free session. I click on it. Select a time. And for the viewer, they don't have to input any sort of credit card information or anything like that. So they can play with you for free. So we're really excited about these changes. We hope that it gives you a lot more um, you know, unique and fun ways for you to interact with your audience. Uh, this is all new, so if you have any feedback, questions, feel free to reach out to us on Discord, um, and we look forward to seeing how you use uh, Combo and all these changes.